So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going around interviewing people based on the idea that the alcohol, or the alcohol age for consumption and the age for uh, smoking tobacco products should be the same. Um, just for a brief opinion, what we think is that it probably should be. Um, in the past, the alcohol age has, or the drink age has been 18, and uh, the tobacco age hasn't changed, so it just seems contradictory to allow two separate ages to do something that used to be the same. The age should be the same. I don't think there should be any regulation because kids nowadays are going to get a hold of the substance that's regardless. Okay, so, that's unfortunate. So, I mean, technically, right now, that is illegal for adults to give underage people either tobacco products or alcohol products. Um, so, why do you think that still occurs then? Adults really just don't give a crap. They don't give a crap? So, you, th you think there should be no regulation at all? There should be no age requiring anything? That's, uh, I believe that there should be more enforcement. Should be more enforcement, more enforcement of what exactly? Of uh, purchasing the products. Oh, okay. And okay. Who is going to be consuming the products? Yeah, okay. So you, so if you were going to an alcohol store, or just say liquor store, then you would, you have to state exactly what you're using it for. Is that what you want? Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, All right. So do you think that the drinking age and the smoking age should be the same? We're talking tobacco and alcohol. Yes, I agree. All right. Now, why do you think they should be the same? Because. Everything needs to be at a good age, which is 21, you can make a decision. So at 21, you can make a decision of killing yourself possibly with smoking. All right, well right now- <laughs> And alcohol. Right now tobacco is 18, so you think that should be raised to 21? Yes, 21 okay. should be so the limit. So then the next question I would have for you is, is 21 the real age that you're considered an adult then? No, I think 26 will be the ideal age of the 20, 26? 26, okay. Um, all right, well, thank you. Okay, perfect. You have a beer in your hand. Okay, so I'm going to ask you, do you think uh, the smoking and drinking age should be the same? Smoking and drinking age? Yes, smoking cigarettes, tobacco and alcohol. No. No? no. Why? Well, just drinking, there's a lot more responsibility with drinking. Okay. You can you could harm other people. Smoking, you're just harming yourself. That's true. Okay. Uh, point. But if you're really into like the war and everything, why do you think somebody should risk their life for our country but can't have a beer? Do you think that age should go up to 21 then as well? As far as joining the military? Yeah. That's a good question. I never thought about that. Yeah. It's interesting dilemma. <laughs> okay. Well, what what do you think the drinking age should be? Do you think it's fine where it's at, or do you think it should change? I think it's fine where it's at. All right. What about smoking? You know, I don't smoke, I've never smoked. It's not an issue with me. So I don't really, never thought about it. Stay at 18, go up 21, 25, or just... 18 is fine. Okay. okay, thank you. As you can see, this topic is very controversial. Nobody could really decide on whether the drinking age and smoking age should be the same, but we could infer this. Basically, majority of the older people surveyed they tend to lean towards, no, they should have separate ages. But then the younger crowd, individuals in college, etc., stuff like that, think drinking and smoking should be the same. Obviously, there's some sort of bias in what people think. That's about it.